Hey guys, today I wanted to show you how quick and easy you can make keto ice cream. It's one of our favorite summer treats and making it yourself at home is so simple and it's a lot cheaper than buying the prepackaged stuff from the store. Um, most of these ingredients you probably already have and I hate it when people say that because usually I don't have half of the ingredients. But today we're going to use egg yolks. Um, the keto sweetener of your choice, um, the recipe we're using today calls for allulose. Um, for this same recipe, I've also used monk fruit and swerve. Any sweetener you have will work just fine. Um, I've got unsweetened almond milk, heavy cream, and a little bit of pink salt. And the last ingredient is going to be the um, vanilla flavoring. That's all it takes. Um, I do have an electric um, ice cream maker that I'll be using today and I'll kind of explain how to get that set up um, once we get to that point. And to mix everything today, I'm going to be using my um, tried and true neutral bullet. I use it for all kinds of stuff. Um, you can also use a hand mixer, but this just works so quick and easy just to throw everything in here. Um, so to get started, we are going to get our egg yolks out and this recipe is um, from Maria Emmerich and it is her uh, vanilla bean ice cream recipe. I do not have an egg separator so I have to do this the old-fashioned way just kind of um, pour in the egg yolk back and forth between the two halves of the shell till most of the white is gone and we're just going to put all of the egg yolks in our neutral bullet. I've made this recipe several times and it comes out perfect every time. Um, the only problem I've ever had is if I did not have my um, ice cream maker frozen solid enough. Sometimes that can cause a problem. So we're going to get all of these in here. And we're using five egg yolks today. We're going to put the egg yolks in and then we're going to add a half a cup of our sweetener. Get that going in the neutral bullet and then we'll add the other ingredients. You can find this recipe on um, Maria Emmerich's website. She has an option for the recipe of cooking the eggs, but I don't do that. I don't mind using raw eggs. I've survived so far, so that's what I'm going to keep doing. Here's the last one. All right. Okay, I'm gonna save the egg whites for later. I don't wanna waste them. I don't particular, particularly love egg whites, but we'll use them for another recipe later on. So I've got my five egg yolks in the Nutribullet and I'm going to add a half a cup of the sweetener. doesn't have to be exact. This is not rocket science. Okay, so we're going to put the lid on our Nutribullet and um, blend this up a little bit. The recipe says to blend the egg yolks and the sweetener um, until the yolks are a lighter yellow color and have about doubled in size. Okay, so it doesn't take long to get the egg yolks and the sweetener incorporated. Now we're just going to add the rest of our ingredients and get our ice cream going. This is such a good treat. Even my kids love it and they don't always love my keto creations. Okay, so we're going to add a cup of heavy cream. Just right into the neutral bullet. And 
then we're going to add a cup of almond milk. So a cup of each of those. Okay, two more things are almost done. Um, a teaspoon of vanilla. If you're fancy and have actual vanilla beans, you can actually um, just scrape one of those down. But I have the extract today. And then the last thing we're going to add is going to be our salt. And it calls for <clears throat> a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. Just get that in there. We're going to blend it up real quick um, just to get everything incorporated and then pour it into our ice cream maker. Okay, so just really quickly get it all incorporated and we are ready to get our ice cream going. If I can get this open. All right, there we go. Okay, so if you're not familiar with the electric ice cream machines, um, they're pretty simple to use. I got this one on Amazon. It's a Cuisinart brand. Um, it basically just has a few parts. You have the lid. The base that's the actual motor part there's a little um, spatula thing to help keep it from sticking to the sides and then the main part of the ice cream maker is going to be this um, internal um, bowl that you have to keep in the freezer um, it has to be frozen really solid for it to make the ice cream so I just always keep it in the freezer as soon as I get done with it after I make some ice cream I'll just wash it Put it right back in the freezer so it's always ready to go. So this just sits right down into the base. Um, and then you put the spatula part in there. Put the lid on. And go ahead and turn it on before you pour your ice cream in. So we're going to turn it on. It's not too loud. And then we're going to pour our mixture right into the center of the lid. There's a hole where you can pour your ice cream mix and this should take about 15-ish minutes you just kind of have to keep an eye on it um, and watch for the thickness that you're looking for so um, we'll just get this going and be back in a second and show you what the finished product looks like okay so it looks like our ice cream is done um, I hope you can tell uh, what consistency we're looking for but basically you're looking for soft serve ice cream kind of consistency. That's the way you'll know that it's done. Um, it won't get super hard in this ice cream maker. But what I like to do is um, I'm going to kind of show you guys the, the consistency of it here. So it's kind of, kind of like a, a soft serve ice cream. You can eat it right out of this bowl. Or um, what I'm going to do today is go ahead and stick it in a freezer safe bowl and um, freeze it so it's a little harder, a little thicker, and we'll enjoy it this evening um, for dessert. And one um, advantage to using the allulose sweetener is it will not freeze rock solid. Um, it'll be in a good consistency where you can still scoop it even after it's been in the freezer for a few hours. So thanks for watching and have a great day.